I want people to get some kind of enjoyment out of this, if it's large or small, just just, just anything. Just a, a little bit of fun, just a little bit to brighten up their day. You know, as long as this puts a smile on the face of one person, then I think I've done my job, and it always puts a smile on my face, so I'm always a success. Sometimes I'll have an idea in my head, and it's just this crazy, you know, reference to, like, some small Christmas media or whatever, and I'm wondering whether people get the reference or not, or if not, they might just find it to be a uh, funny picture. I, I don't worry about people making fun of me for it or anything like that, because, you know, I, I, I really don't care. It's not going to take away my enjoyment uh, out of doing any of this. Uh, the inspiration for these just comes from r really everywhere. Like, if there's ever a time where I don't have any idea for what I'm going to do for Santa Picture, I just put on the suit and I sit down and I just look around the house, or I'll go outside and look at things outside, and it's just gonna it's just gonna come from somewhere. It's just gonna pop up. My name is Nathaniel, and every day during the month of December, I take a picture of myself in a Santa suit in various situations and post it to my Instagram, Shih Tzu and Shades. Alright, so years ago, when I used to work at a pet store, they had photos of Santa where people would bring in their pets to take pictures of Santa. And there came a time where the guy who usually did it was growing tired of doing it. He wasn't enthusiastic about it. I, I thought that, you know, something like that you should be very enthusiastic about because people are going to be putting pictures on their mantles. They're going to be showing it to the family, especially pet people who are very crazy about their pets. I, I wanted there to be somebody who would be enthusiastic taking the Santa photos, playing Santa for those. Um, I didn't necessarily think it was going to be me at the time, but you know, look, looking around, everybody else was just uh, really, like, really didn't want to play Santa. Like they they were trying to pin this on people, and it's, like it was this huge embarrassment to put on a Santa suit, which to to me it was kind of weird. You know, it's it's all in good fun. It's just, you know, it's only for a couple of hours. So I, I thought I'd try it. I thought I thought I'd give it a try, and. Um, I was nervous at first because, I, like I said, I wanted this to be good for people. I wanted people to take it home and be happy with what they have. So I was nervous that I wouldn't be able to live up to standards for that because I don't really have a Santa look. I don't look like Santa. I don't sound like Santa. And I, I would prefer that they have someone who did look like or sound like Santa. But in the absence of anything, enthusiasm is really the thing that matters. So I'd, I'd put on the Santa suit um, for a couple hours on Saturdays for the month of December. And take photos of people's pets. And I discovered I enjoyed doing it. But the Santa suit, after so many years of it not being replaced, was getting torn. And it never got washed. So, it was, you know, it's very... I don't know if there's a polite way to describe it. But that thing was just not in good condition. The beard and everything was, you know, itchy. Smelled the high heaven. And just... So so one year I asked if I could just um, purchase my own Santa suit. And, you know, start wearing it for the photos of Santa. And they said that was fine. So... One night, my um, sister, who had been throwing a party for her friends, had asked if maybe I could come in and surprise them, dressed as Santa, just as kind of this fun thing. So I thought, um, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd be willing to do that. So, you know, she's throwing her party, and then I, I get home from work, and I'm wearing my Santa suit, and I, I come in and I surprise everyone. And, you know, they're, they're all having a great time because it's Christmas party. Like, oh, great, this is Santa, this is awesome, ah, Santa, he's here, this is, this is really cool. And... You know, they're, they're going on to their party. I don't really have much to do, so I'm just kind of I'm just kind of hanging around while they're you know still carrying on their activities in my Santa suit. And I I set up my tripod and I just take a picture of myself, just just kind of on a whim, just because I'm bored, just doing something. And um, it was the, the first picture I think was a picture of just me pointing at a sign that said Santa Claus is coming to town. And you know, I thought like I'm not the kind of person who normally takes pictures of himself or even posts them anywhere. I actually don't have that good of a positive uh, self-image. But, you know, looking at that, I was just like, oh, that's actually kind of a fun thing. I, uh, maybe I do want to share this with people. So I posted that one. And then the next day, um, 
I think it was a Sunday. We were also doing Santa pictures that day, too. I, I come home, and I have my Santa suit in my bag, and I think, you know what? I, I kind of want to do this again. So I take out, like, a little uh, present ornament, and I take a picture of that, and I discovered, you know, um, you know, I, I actually kind of like putting it on the Santa suit, just come up with new ideas, just, like, looking around the house and finding things that I, you know, I think would make a good picture. And I just kind of ran from that. So it was really those first two pictures that led to what would become a daily thing during the month of December for me. So I think I had a pretty typical childhood with regards to my experience of Santa Claus. Uh, my parents would always take me to take, you know, see Santa at the malls, um, you know, sit on his lap, tell him what I want for Christmas, uh, you know, give me a candy cane, um, things like that. I think that was, um, you know, pretty standard to what most kids would experience, but my family has always been very big on Christmas. So I'm, so uh, the season itself might have been a little bigger for me than it would be for most people. Like we'd always, uh, you know, decorate and uh, see like every family member on Christmas and just go around and the whole the whole month would be like a big part Christmas party. The days after we'd still do the 12 days of Christmas or do a little Christmas, all that stuff. Uh, with regards to Santa, it was, uh, you know, like... I honestly can't remember, like, uh, if when I went to these malls, if I even knew that was, if I believed that to be the real Santa or not, if I just believed that to be an ambassador for Santa. And truth be told, I don't even remember what age I was when I stopped believing in Santa, but um, I believe it was on the later side than what most kids would experience. It's because, ah, uh, you know, but yeah, he was, um, I think it was pretty standard to what most kids uh, around me's perception of Santa would be. See, this is, a, this is very satisfying to me artistically because I think a lot of people, when they think of creative process, get so wrapped up in the process that they forget to be creative. They forget that, that you know, just, um, you know, they're so, they're so wrapped up in how things are supposed to be done that they ignore the fact that they're the ones doing it, so they should have some input into how they do it. Um, you know, I, I don't... It's not like the whole process of me doing this isn't like uh, some days before December making a list of what I want to do and then oh, gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta do this. Most of the time, it's just me sitting down, looking around, finding something, and you know, just look look around and find something that can make it work. You can always put your own spin on anything that you enjoy doing it and as long as you enjoy doing it i mean that's your art i mean people are going to appreciate it they might not appreciate it they might look at um they might look at santa holding thor's hammer me in the air towards the sky summoning lightning and wonder well what does that have to do with santa claus but but you know you, you gotta keep you gotta keep in mind this is when you're creating art it's your art it's not anybody else's art you need to focus on what you want to show first and let people, you know, draw their own conclusions or not draw their own conclusions, whatever they choose. But when it comes down to it, you shouldn't be doing your art strictly for other people. You should be doing it for, you know, you should be doing it, you know, to, to reach other people, but you shouldn't be doing, just be doing it for them because then it ceases to be your art and it just becomes something you're doing to entertain everyone else. <laughs> 